you only have anxiety for the things you didn't anticipate and you're anticipating. And by the way, there's no fear of the unknown. There's fear of what you're anticipating because you haven't planned. There's no fear of the unknown. There's fear of the content in your mind that you're assuming could happen that you don't have mitigated. And you don't, have the, you don't know how to use it and turn it into on the way or how to reduce the probability of it. So you didn't plan. And the moment you plan it out and think, okay, if this happens, here's what I'll do. You don't have a fear about it. That fear is gone. And you think, okay, what else do I have an anxiety about? Well, this can happen. Great. How do I do it? I go and find out if there's really a need for that product. If I do, I tweak the product if it doesn't. And if I now know what it is, now I don't have the anxiety because I know I've got a demand. So all of your fears are your friends. All of your self-doubts are your friends. They're, they're feedback to let you know you haven't planned an objective. You haven't strategized it out. You're going on a whim with, with some degree of upsides without downsides. You're not anticipating those and you don't have a real objective. Again, objectivity means even-minded, not positive thinking. I know I beat this dead horse, but I, I'm, I get so many people coming in from the positive thinking movement that are anxious and sabotaging and frightened and, and then hesitating and then flopping because they don't use their objective mind. The executive part of the brain is there for a reason. Your amygdala is a subcortical area of the brain that we have that's in common with the animals. Our executive center is something we have that gives meaning and purpose and direction and inspiration and planning and we create things. Elon Musk just got made his own spacecraft working with NASA to go up to the space station. That was 100,000 people thinking of every possible thing that could go wrong, plan it out, mitigate it, precision it, practice it, perform it. That's why they're successful at doing it, achieved it. It's not because they wouldn't it, not because they had fantasies, not because they had positive thinking. It's because they thought of everything and they dealt with every single thing that could go wrong and they were prepared for it. If you do that, you're going to go on and you're going to launch to the space station. You'll be in the stratosphere with your achievements.